ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We've got everything set up uh, for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Son. So without more waiting time, I'll give it over to my man, Rashla. Good luck, my man. Well, thank you, Sita. And I guess we're going immediately in the countdown. So three, two, one, go. There was nothing about well, the starry sky that night. To suggest that strange well, welcome to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, can I have game audio, please? Um, because I'm not hearing something at the moment. It's... Yeah, I hear something nice. Uh, well, this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. If you are from America, you know this game as Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, if you even play the US version uh, of this game, it's called... Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, even the lines are saying uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but I got some reason the Dutch version works like the American version, but still keeps calling it Philosopher's Stone, thus I call this obviously the best version around, so yay for the Dutch version. Uh, this game was released in 2001, and yeah, I played it as a young little child um, I couldn't beat the game like the first time that I've beaten this game was three years ago or maybe two I don't remember that much but um, at least I've beaten it multiple times and I hope to finish it today it shouldn't be too hard uh, this is probably my most favorite Harry Potter game um, it's a pretty technical one compared to uh, the HP2 game, which is more favorable by other people. But uh, I just really love this game because it has so many different strats. And yeah, we start here with this slideshow, like you've seen that already in the previous one. I, uh, at least I heard, but this one, this time it's intended to be a slideshow. could be great. And uh, let's see if we are actually getting the right uh, RNG because I want to be in Hufflepuff. Well, if you're sure. Let's see in which house we are going to get. Gryffindor. Gryffindor, damn. That means that we need to save the world. Bad RNG. So um, at this point, I'm holding backwards. That's because if you hold back, if you walk backwards into certain uh, cutscenes. It plays a little bit faster. And now we are in the past screen. And as you can hear, the game is still playing. Or it didn't. Oops. Uh, what was supposed to happen is... Um, to let me actually check. Okay, this one is not working. That's good to know. Like, normally I was supposed to actually now pass the game and reload it. Time. That way the game so keeps playing while you are the in the door. menu. In mind, it's not working not at the moment. That means that rewarding. I need to do one Only strat a little bit different, I which is not as free anymore as I was hoping. But it, it, it will be fine. When I return, so, um, this is Dumbledore. He's going to tell us about... No, well, he introduces us to Hogwarts. Lessons. Like, I guess he's doing this for every student, so he's here all day. But we are going to get started. And hey, another cutscene. Hey, like, this game is full of cutscenes, which is uh, amazing. By the way, when I passed the menu, I was setting up uh, a menu glitch. Which we are go and that way we can we have access to some of the settings, which Hello, is Harry. going to be we useful pretty objects. soon. But I won't spell it Follow for now. Um, so now we are in the tutorial section. Like we don't know what to do yet. Like we don't know any spells. We don't know how to climb. We don't know how to jump. So we are going to learn that from Fred and George. But yeah, of course that little. Brother one knows this already Run because he has grown and up with these guys. Above the bookcase is a and did you know that if you walk into a bookcase, you will climb up automatically? Oh, nice. I got a fast ledge climb, which basically means if you jump correctly, 
you just get, uh, yeah, the fa you get the ledge grab like it's you're jumping, but you didn't jump. So well you got the now instant ledge grab, jumping. which is like zero point two seconds faster. So we saved that already. Meet us in the next room. So we'll now we are finally going to there. jump, and you can turn on auto jump, but we are not going to do it. Uh, let me. F put here because hi there's peace but if you walk correctly ooh, that jump was really good but if you walk correctly um, like the makers of this game thought that um ooh, nice um i saved that but uh they thought you would hit peace and that way you couldn't move around much anymore so this is a big cutscene skip, like here's a big uh, cutscene of Fred and George um, explaining about uh, chocolate fox and all the beans that you collect, and you need to collect 25 of them. But uh, f we are just really happy that we could just skip these, uh, this cutscene because it's kind of long. Thanks, Harry. And ooh, nice, I got the jammy, the which basically means summer. if you are in a cutscene and you do a ledge climb you uh you can still move harry around doing the cutscene which basically means we are already up here as soon as it opens and that saves like 10 seconds if i'm not stuck in the wall of course which always happens and here is our greatest person it's malfoy he's not too happy with us and you do well to show me respect. So we need to show Malfoy Maybe some respect. Mm. I don't like respect, Naturally, giving respect to Malfoy. To win the house cup and the so cup. the Slytherins are going to win everything. Everything way, is spoiled. We are done with the game. Or not. Le well, um, here there's Hermione who's going to say hi. But um, yeah, bye Hermione. You skip class and we just skipped your I whole cutscene. So this is Professor Quill, and he has some RNG in the lines that he says. Like, in the beginning he can say, watch my wand, or this is a symbol for Fipendo. Watch my wand, that's a good line. Like, it's way faster. So now we are going to draw Fipendo. And we need to hit at least 50, this should be 50. 66, good number, like, if you go above uh, AD, you get basically the best lines that he has, but it's also possible that you get the worst line that he has, which is then he is going to say, uh, the, the house with the most points wins the house cup or something in that line. And actually we got pretty good RNG on Quill, like... We only need to beat the first uh, round because after that they are like, oh, you fail it. Okay, we continue with this. So it's pretty horrible 100% because then you need to beat all the spell challenges. But, um, well, spell drawing challenges. But in this one, it's actually uh, pretty good. So, um,. The last time when I played this uh, game here, I played it on 106 FPS. But because of some uh, changes in the rules, we are now only allowed to play it at 60 FPS. And there I tried to do a super jump, which is basically frame perfect jump where Harry gets a lot of speed and going forward. Like that one saves only a second or so. And now we are going to try to save 20 seconds by using a cauldron as Quill advised us and hoppa! Like, basically, if you are on the cauldron and you knock it down, you get... You, you go up, uh, your collision goes up a little bit, and... Yeah, you can just barely make that jump. Uh, and it skips basically going all around and doing some stuff with uh, switches and more cutscenes, which we actually just don't like. And here we meet our friend Nick, who is going to explain us Hello, about Harry safe books. 
which is basically you need to win in them and the game saves. Pretty easy. Um, but most of the time they are not that good in the way. Uh, wow, good English. Um, if you faint. You can also load a save but, uh, game from the main menu. I will grab some safety saves just uh, to make sure that I won't lose too much time. So here we just need to do these switches and we can continue. Because um, I didn't grab that save book because that save book is kind of useless. Like there's no way to die until the next save book. So I don't understand why it's here. To knock it out of the way. And now we are going to do again something interesting, which is called a hyper jump, which is basically a jump where you jump up a slope and you get just a little bit more of heights. And that way I can skip a ledge grab, which I didn't skip on this part. So uh, this is one of the save books that you normally skip, but I grabbed it this time. I once forgot to uh, grab that one. And, um, oh. Uh, well, as you could see, I boosted up a lot. And that's called a brightness boost. Like, basically, if Harry is in a in a climb animation and you pass the game and... Uh, dang, I missed the hitting the switch here. But if you are in a... If you change the brightness, the engine basically refreshes itself. And for some reason, if the engine refreshes itself and Harry is in a climb animation, you uh, boost up and we abuse this a little bit. So this is just a little bit of platforming. This is basically the only place in the whole beginning of uh, this challenge to die. So if we don't die here, we uh, are basically set. Uh, I hit the switch here and I just make that jump on time so that everything is just perfect at this point. So here there's a save book because after that very hard challenge you just want to take a rest and step away. But it wasn't too hard for us so we just skipped that save book. And these are gnomes and I love this music which is always plays late when you are fighting the gnomes and basically what you need to do here is just knock the gnomes down and they won't get up for the rest of the game and we've completed the first challenge and we collected some challenge stars so we get five points from Quirrell that's pretty nice from him like Quirrell is really a nice guy he gave us already 10 house points like there's no way that he's the bad guy so this is a little bit of a cutscene we are going to see Basically the same cutscene later in the Since game. Harry and his friends were expected at their well, flying lesson actually, with Madame Hooch. I don't know how much time we are going to see it. But uh, we are going to fly and that's pretty uh, awesome in my opinion. Uh, like in none of the games uh, after this one, flying is as in this game because you are just... Uh, yeah, basically in an outer scroller at that point. So in this one, you are base you are free to move around as you want. So now we need just to follow other wings. Like uh, you, th there's a timer, so there's a speed run in a speed run. But it's basically uh, at a certain point, if you haven't collect all the wings, you uh, yeah, th they just cut you out. Like they're like. Yeah, you, you tried, and we don't think you can do it much better. But it's actually faster to just uh, do all the wings, which is basically some memory. Like, if you. Like, it looks kind of easy how I'm doing it, but it's. It, it really needs some practice. Like, here we just slow down because there's no way to hold the speed button and make it to that wing. Wow, I got that ring, that was surprisingly. And 
Yeah, we are already in the last uh, section of this flying lesson, and now we got moving wings, where you would think this is kind of hard, but it isn't. Like, they're not moving around that much, and yeah, the collision of these wings are kind of weird. And basically, if you want to make sure that you don't miss a wing, you just let go of the speed up button. Like, there's also a slowdown button, but nobody really Perfect uses score. it. Like, if you just let go, you have full control again of what you want to do, so... And if we want to practice more, we can go to the main menu, Time but... Uh, now. Good day, Mr. Potter. Yeah, hopefully we won't go to the main menu. <coughs> So we got already, we learned our first spell from a teacher. But now Hermione is going to teach us something. But uh, she's also going to give us house points. Like, how does this work? How can a student give house points to us? So I'm here going to try to get at least 80. Be okay, that's not going to be 80. Let's hope that I get at least 50. Because if you get less than... Okay. Like, if you... Wow. Giggity. <laughs> I'm no, no comments. <laughs> but uh, basically, if you get above 80, Hermione has... Two good lines which she can use, but uh, we were below that, so yeah, unfortunately we are not going to get it. And what exactly would you open she can say that? here, what was that, and she can say that line, and that line is really slower. Like, it would only... Yeah, it's only two lesson. seconds, but uh, we like uh, going fast. So, basically, one of the big changes of playing this game at 60 FPS is that Hermione doesn't get stuck anymore in in the stairs anymore. Like, on 106 FPS, it was consistent. But at this point, um, yeah, she doesn't get stuck at all. And we need to get a frame-perfect super jump to make it on time. And then we can do kind of a multitask, which is, that's how it's called them. If you have to, uh, cutscenes playing at the same time and you can move around. Unfortunately, we didn't got it. So that's basically rip 40 seconds at this point. But at least we can to s we, we get a better look at Flitwick at this moment, which is a great student. Hold down the student mouse button teacher. and follow the pattern, then release the button. So, uh, now we are just uh, going to draw a W. Wingardium and uh, fail it again. Work, and Potter. maybe the but host can explain a little bit move. about this marathon we are doing at Five the moment. Points for Gryffindor. I sure can. Try going slightly faster this time. Well, um, yeah, as Reichla said, I can tell you a lot about this marathon. An uh, version of the spell for example, that work, we're Mr. gathering, uh, or we're raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, who are, uh, you know, trying to get you less, less the cancer the and more curing. Um, the they spell. fund cancer Follow research, me, they give Potter. info to uh, people that actually need that, and they help to alleviate um, those who are already fighting the disease. And 90% of your donations will go directly to them, and 10% will be used by uh, BSE itself to make the event even more awesome. Uh, and there's also, like, uh, we do this on a monthly basis, and there will be a week-long speedrunning event from uh, the 19th till the 25th of August, and the submissions for that week-long event are still open till May 6th, so, if you have a run that you want to show off there, be sure to visit the speedrun.com page for it and keep an eye out on our Discord for more info regarding that event. Well, thank you, Xita. So, uh, that was actually perfectly timed because we are now going to try to uh, clip this block through this uh, gate. Here you go. Like, I don't know how it works exactly. But it only works on one block, and 
that's why we need to do this the normal way but um, yeah it's a really weird trick uh, position is kind of precise like the block needs to bounce off Harry's head and I guess it doesn't know where to get because you're in the way so the only way the block can go is to the left through the gate so I guess that's how it works and we are basically almost done already uh, with this challenge like before we, uh, we used to do a super jump to get to the end but uh, that super jump isn't working pretty uh, yeah like because of 60 fps the super jumps are less fast and you travel less of a distance so we are just going uh, to skip this cycle and we can just make this jump and now Flick Flitwick is waiting here for us but if we cast a spell there it deloads the cutscene and we can just move around done with this uh, challenge so uh, now we are now we can walk a little bit around Hogwarts like it's pretty linear like it's not an open world or something and I'm trying to clip on this uh, face because um, that way we skip actually a peace fight there you go but now I'm going to do something even more interesting I'm going to trigger peace and I jump into this cutscene and beef should hit me and that means I can uh, move here I can grab the ladder I can go to the right I get in this cutscene I press space to cancel the ladder so we can still move around uh, this might not make it okay we got it like basically because the cutscene ended as soon as we hit it this fight um, we can move around Malfoy while he's still talking that we can't leave the castle at this point so I'm really happy that uh, that that worked out because it's kind of precise and Hello, it loses 50 me, seconds Hagrid. if you don't you. make it These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the like basically uh, if you have two cutscenes playing at the same time uh, Harry can move around and there are so many the cutscenes the there that we can move Drop around doing the cutscenes and as soon as the as one cutscene ends uh, the other one has to be started and that way we can just move around basically almost every cutscene so now we are going to the greenhouse I think you've got lost again. which is Go on, going you to be to uh, a lot of fun because um, I've talked already about that you can boost up in a climbing animation but you can also boost uh, I don't think I got it, dang. That's basically because I couldn't find the escape button. And this is... Um, I tried one more time and... See, we got out of bounds here. Uh, I'm grabbing the save book here. But basically, if you get damage and you jump... Uh, Harry uh, moves a little bit to the back and in that moment you have a little bit of uh Dang, I'm not even on the plant And I was already afraid of this uh, we, we are just going to do this uh, normally now because that trick didn't work that correctly uh, but at, about these plants they look kind of dangerous but if you jump up there's no way that they can hit Harry so even that I'm on low health right now if I just 
Ooh, that plant hit me. That was not supposed to happen. Um, now I'm going to play this a little bit more safe. I have the save hook, so that's not the biggest deal. I wait for this plant. Wow, it was just waiting for me at this point. But basically, I was hoping to get on top of the maze and just skip basically the whole maze. So I'm on low health right now, but it's a good thing that when you save, Welcome you get class. health of the health of your sport. health back. Today so the it's not a which is useful really big deal at this point. Plants. <clears throat> Observe the correct incendio symbol. Hope so uh, this is already our fourth spell that then we are going to learn at this point. And uh, it's it's really an onion. Like people see other things in this, but it's an onion. And I, li I like this symbol actually really a lot. It's probably my most favorite symbol of this uh, of this game. Like there's one more spell that we are going to learn, but that will be done later. Whatever the spell is you're attempting. It's not Incendio. Uh, it was not Incendio. Okay, well, we take the five points. And we are happy with that. Now it's time for the Incendio mm. challenge. And Through now we the get the Incendio the challenge. I'll and watch you from the back. I guess this is the least broken challenge at this point. Like, there are a few skips Those but spiky bushes. not you may really big ones on which them, is unfortunate to avoid their needles. so uh, we just hit these plants and we hit uh, the switch and then there are three gnomes and you could think uh, we can just pass them re really easy but actually you need to hit all three of them before you can uh, this is a typical species of venomous tentacular. Yeah, the, the door Perhaps opens and uh, we are going to try to attempt a multitask here. Well, and we got hit as soon as Away the cutscene plays. So that way we can just move around while the cutscene is still playing, which is always a nice thing. So I grab the save book. So I have some more health. I kill this doxy. But I keep the other one alive because that's wh that way um, I have doxy storage at this point. Like, is, if you, as you can see, I can do Flipendo everywhere, even though there's no, it's nothing to hit with. And that's actually useful for this switch. Because if I stand here and... Come on. Um, if this one's... I lost some beats, damn. Uh, basically I'm trying to hit the switch like this and now one of the gnomes needs to hit me but of course they uh, hit me as soon as the cutscene is at its end like I actually wanted to be at the door already and actually if you hit that challenge star and get hit by a gnome at the same time you soft lock the game which is really interesting especially when you are on PB page and you to this, to this game uh, wow um, this I did another incendio but this plant might wake up now okay it doesn't good so now we are just uh, killing these plants rip the plants save the animals kill the plants to uh, reveal these two switches and if we hit them at the same time we got a nice little multitask where we can just move around. So I found in this whole game only one strat. And it's a hard one and it saves like a second or so. But I'm going to try to attempt it like if I... Nope. Like if I would make... No, that's... This is not going to make it because I'm going to below that. But basically you can make it all up uh, to that platform and then you can just hit the switch. And it skips a little bit of a few uh, ledge climbs which is always a time save. So I grab this frog. 
I hit the plant so I could just easily move around. I grab here the save book and now we are going to do a, a little bit more of damage boosting if I can get it. No. Um, I tried one more time. Uh, we are just going to, to the maze now. Like, everybody loves a little bit of a maze. Uh, the cycle is way off than if I would have done it uh, immediately. So I just hit every plant here because I like to have a little bit of health. And yeah, these things are kind of interesting. Like, you need to hit four of them. But the hitbox just stays there, so if you just hit one four times, the game is like, okay, you've done it. And now we need to close these gates. And we just move around and bye Mrs. Sprout. So now we are going to use another hyper jump at this point. To, uh, scup uh, to skip a fun cutscene with Hagrid. Which takes like 20 minutes, so Hagrid is like, uh, why don't you come uh, to my house again after Quidditch practice? But we don't have to hear that, like, the game will tell us that we need to go there. And here's Malfoy. Uh, we have skipped the first fight with Malfoy, but we can't uh, unfortunately skip this one. So, uh, we are going to do some more flying, which is always fun. Give me back Neville's remember all, Malfoy. You want the remember all back? And See I hope I don't it. go to uh, the terrible cave. And after the terrible cave, you got the forest of shame. Like, if you're really slow, then you get to uh, the forest of shame. And you shouldn't be there. And of course, we didn't even get to the terrible cave. Like, if you're already in the cave, then you're already slow. So, Here, take and this stupid thing. I, I, I think the audio lines of this part wasn't really correctly. Like, this game has some issues with flying sections. Like, the audio is uh, screwed up, basically. Thanks, like, there it's. It just skips lines, it repeats words, on, Trevor, it's come back. it's really weird. So we help out. Neville now I and uh, class. There are he there left Trevor toads. his frog near the herbology classes and there are plants Mr. that eat toads. I'm Professor McGonagall, um, I don't think your frog is there anymore. So this House. is Professor McGonagall. Although I we haven't met her before and we won't mountain. meet her again. I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. So we are good on a broomstick. She shot that we didn't went to the terrible cave. May not compete in Quidditch. In your oh, case, we, uh, we are Quidditch. getting into the Quidditch Harry. team. First Wait, the they have their first the match later this afternoon, but See the team then. wasn't complete yet. Hmm. Good planning, Professor McGonagall. So uh, now we are going to a really long level. Well, I'm actually not lying. Like, this is a pretty... Uh, long level it's a fun level because you're in the open nature oh. and uh using magic everywhere but wow. yeah we wow uh. okay thank you so, but we just boost up here move to the left and yeah we just skip everything by just walking straight to the end from here like we basically skip 99 percent of this level so you can imagine how long this level actually is <coughs> and here we are at hagrid's huts and i'm holding backwards now to speed up the cutscene which saves a little bit uh there is here actually a full Fire seat skip. It has been done on only once in a run, fast, run and there's no recording of the whole run. Like 
The winner called Vespert uh, got the trick doing a race on his second it's channel, which didn't record every stream, so it's basically gone. Now like, I with only the people who about. saw it who can tell that it actually happened. It's a Le legit, and, and we have no clue how here. it worked, and the we haven't found a yet a way to uh, I can't leave it here alone, to get it as well. So we are going to do a little bit longer uh, me some fire, fire seeds. I grow them in so um, Hagrid is a little bit of a liar you here. Collect as many fire seeds as you can find. Like he's saying Therefore, that oh, he needs uh, a lot of fire cool seeds to. You pick up. Off you go then. To make uh, the egg hatch. But, um, yeah, we are going. At least I hope I'm going to prove that uh, he is. Uh, okay, I, I'm out of bounds. Here you go. So I abused the uh, damage boosting here. And now we just walk back to Hagrid because we've triggered already the cutscene. Great work, Harry. You've collected all and, the fire seeds um, I need. Hagrid Come is not inside, here. Harry. Wipe your feet now. Like basically, you're supposed to go all around, and then you get warped back, back here. And doing that warp, they put uh, Hagrid uh, back. But now we have triggered it, and Hagrid is not back. So the game is now going to look two minutes. For Hagrid, like it's really consistent, like it's no RNG, like it just takes two minutes to get Hagrid back here and walk into the house and then we can also move on. So, uh, during this moment we can just uh, look at our uh, good friend Steve the pig. Like I even called the split just uh, watch the pig because, yeah. That's basically all that we are doing at the moment. Like it's, uh, th there's not much interesting to tell about this section about a pig that's really looking at something. Like there's something to the to the left of him, and I don't know exactly what. And I see that the host is uh, busy at the moment, so otherwise I would give him some time. But um, I'm going to try to keep talking during this. So we should be close to, uh, to getting Hagrid back at some point. Like you will see just a little bit of Hagrid and at that point you know we can walk back into the house. <coughs> this waiting is so much fun. Like this is... Th this is basically what I like about this game is you have so many points of just relaxing a little bit like if you are on a really good pace and there we saw Hagrid's so now we can walk back into his house for another cutscene go ahead and put them in the fire what Harry. are we going to put in the fire because we don't have fire seats at this point ah uh, but uh, we, we threw something in the fire. Maybe it was the Doxy that we killed. Which is uh, Benny the Doxy. Yeah, we we named them. And it's called Benny the Doxy because of the Benny Hill team. And it's a Doxy hits you. Um, you can move around. There's no trigger to get in the house. So it's actually probably slower to do that. But if you can move around, you can move around hmm. the doxy and the there's one runner so named uh, two of king who just uh, likes to walk around and have the benny phil benny uh, hill team uh, in the background uh, while he's just avoiding the doxy so uh we are finally at quidditch it's later in the afternoon and I saw somebody almost the falling down its broomstick. So uh, basically what we need to do is catch the snitch. But the game developers were like, let's just explain every rule of this game. 
which I'm not a big fan of. Like the cutscenes. Uh, it didn't say much. Wow, Lee Jordan is saying some straight lines. That's really interesting. So this is Quidditch. Uh, Quidditch is known as a long game. Like it takes until the snitch is caught. So um, let's play Quidditch, Quidditch, Quidditch. So uh, this might be a pretty long game. Thank. Okay, we're done with credits. 10 seconds at most. Like, basically, everything credits is uh, watching cutscenes, playing 10 seconds, and wait for more, for more cutscenes. Yeah, thanks for the commentary, Lee Jordan. Like, uh, we, we, we couldn't have done it without it. And... I don't know why this cutscene takes this long. Harry Potter. Like we've had enough rest at this point. Hogwarts had won the Quidditch match. So we have won the Quidditch match. I'm holding backwards now to uh, speed up the cutscene a little bit. You are fantastic. Yeah, I was fantastic. Ten seconds. Me, like I didn't need more. So um, we are now going to follow Hermione, and if you look really closely to Hermione, you just see that she, uh, yeah, she just disappears out of nowhere. Um, that's basically because you're not supposed to see that, but because we speeded up the cutscene a little bit, we were able to. Uh, that hyper jump was way too late times. And here we see Fred and George who are just going to a room. We are not going to join them. Like, um, if we are going to meet Fred and George, they are basically trying to sell us a... Uh, Please stop that. Okay, I will stop with talking, of course, because of that guy. Uh, that guy is kind of a meme, like, his Please stop that. Um, we love him. Like... You don't have a feather that uh, run if you don't hit that guy. So uh, we have a run going on. But yeah, Fred and George, they just want to sell you uh, wizard cards. And um, dang, I'm trying to skip a cutscene here. But um, basically, one step more triggers that cutscene. So. Uh, I'm trying to clip up on here, which is a kind of a precise angle, and I'm getting kind of a wall walk, but not the one that I actually want. Okay, I tried one more time, and then we're just going to watch the cutscene, which is not a bad cutscene because... Um, it involves our most favorite teacher, Professor Snape. <clears throat> so, uh, Rushla. Yeah? I heard uh, you like Snape. You also like, um, you know, donation incentives? Uh, I like donation incentives, but if you can wait wow, a little... Because um, there is coming corridor. another skip uh, coming up badly. pretty Ooh. soon. Uh, on, I like skips. So. Like, um, basically, we're now supposed to learn you our well. last oh, I think spell. Down the corridor. But Harry is a smart guy. So I think um, we, we, we can just do it without actually learning the, the spell. We'll be late for our defense against wow. our carts lesson. That yeah, Hermione, you... Yeah, what were you saying? That would be impressive. Like, not yeah. taking the class and then still, you know, knowing the spell. Yeah, like, basically how this game works is like, if you are in the level of... Harry knows basically every spell at this point. Uh, I didn't trust that angle too much. 
like oh uh harry we wanted to skip it not to uh actually do it well harry does know all the spells but he does not know how to ledge grab i see no he doesn't know how to clip into things today come on no that boost didn't wasn't promising already uh, like every time when i practice this i get it second try well, we're going to learn Luma, so go ahead with your donations and set this. Well, while Russell is learning those, uh, that, uh, that wonderful spell, um, I want to talk to you guys about... Uh, um, I guess we've Watch got three wand. more incentives then going on. The, the first one that will come up shortly button. is the Metal Gear Solid Release Peace Walker. And we will actually get a additional mission that normally isn't in the run. Uh, the mission itself takes about 5 to 10 minutes, but it's worth every single minute of it. Like, there's beautiful music, there's a wonderful cutscene to see, like, it's worth your money, and it's only, uh, let me calculate, 42 euros away from, you know, the end. And then there's Luigi's Mansion, which is currently in any percent no out of bounds run. And the runner told me, like, we can make that 100%. And for that, we only need 27 more euros, so that would be an, uh, a good incentive as well. And of course, we've got the bit war between the character name for Dark Souls, where Lava Boost, an old meme, is still in the lead, begin the closely, well, <coughs> sort of closely stealth. followed by Foyo. Follow me, Mr. Foyo. So, you know, and if you think, well, those options are not good, I've got a way better option. Hold Please, you know, let us know through a wonderful donation for the Dutch Cancer Society. And I'll give it back to Rush, like, as I see he uh, finally knows how to cast that spell. Yeah, apparently Harry thought, like, yeah, um, I know this is a marathon, but I want to be safe, so let me just learn that spell in case I don't know it anymore. So, uh, we are now in the Lumos, um challenge which is also the light challenge and light is that not brightness hmm. that sounds familiar what could we do again with brightness basically um this uh challenge is only doing doing uh, brightness boosting like if you could see now after I hit every Lumos gargoyle I move backwards because that way the cutscene is just playing a little bit faster and that jump is uh, interesting like basically if you jump into something but move to the sides uh, Harry is still in the climb animation but he moves uh, but, but then in a whole different position and the position is way easier to uh, boost up there and actually the next boost is only possible with that mechanic so we are really help really happy with uh, with that uh, mechanic because otherwise this challenge would take probably a little bit longer so uh if you in case you kind of forgot about uh wow can i please be close enough thank you in case you forgot about wingardium here let's put a random wingardium block in a big room with nothing else and now we are a little bit of a cycle like we need to hit this and move to the left and then we boost up here and hey we are done with this room like normally you, sh you should go up and uh, around and do some lumos so this is a really hard p skip oh we skipped him already like basically if you pick up the challenge star you trigger a peace fight so as long as you don't grab that challenge star you you will be fine and we are basically almost done with this challenge um something really important to know about the lumos platforms is that they already exist before you hit uh the l the l crap i okay they uh, already exist before you hit the lumos guy and this one 
seems to exist just in front of it and if you hit a spell just to that wall the end trigger is there and it triggers it for some reason and that way we don't have to talk to uh, Professor Quill about giving him the challenge stars and him giving us uh, house points because we don't really need house points and um, yeah the challenge stars they are a present a present for our most favorite teacher in the game it's going to be Professor Snape and um, yeah just look I at how angry he looks at us this face I like I play this game on the lowest settings because that way passing and passing goes way better but the face of Snape is just completely gone like it's just a white face you just see that it's Snape because of the hair oh no he took away some of our house points that we got extra from Professor Quill looks really angry to me um, hyper jump please thank you so we just go over the pot it's not hot or something like that, hmm, that must be dissonant. so there's our first potion ingredient already and oh no this looks like a trap where am I hmm, where are we I wonder, if Snape tricked me. I wonder if Snape tricked us no he knew that all the potion ingredients were down here so he just helped us a little bit so um, here there's a big puzzle with blocks but um, because of brightness boosting we can just we, we can just get up the block and skip basically the whole puzzle and it also skips a soft lock because the small block can actually get stuck in its path and there's no way to move it around anymore so uh yeah th that's really a boost that's that's so useful because we don't get any soft locks anymore like i used to call this uh this uh, split uh, soft block because you soft lock with a block but i had to change it because of uh because of whiteness boosting so here, th this is just a little bit of platforming, always fun. And the trick is just not to die and to jump at the correct moment. And there we have a challenge star. Did we pick up already one? At least we have now 11 challenge stars. I guess Snape is going to be happy with them. So that was the bloody Baron and you can just walk past him. I remember when I was a child and I played this game for the first time. Um, I th That cutscene just started and I was like, uh, nope. So I just quit immediately the game. And this gnome room isn't too hard. Like you hit the first two before they start running. And yeah, then the others are just waiting until their moment to shine but because the first two that were supposed to walk around uh, are down already you can just keep going for the gnomes and they shouldn't be walking that much so at this point i'm holding forward now like if you hold forward into this loading screen for some reason these platforms don't move at all like normally they are going up and down and uh Now I need to, uh, th this is basically the hardest boost of the game. Like you need to get high and onto the right platform, but you're not on the right position. So that makes it a little bit harsh. Or Harry just doesn't want to get the ledge climb. I'm just so happy that this boost is just here in the beginning and not further on. Okay, move this one to the side and boost. 
Uh, Harry, Harry, please. As I said, this is the hardest boost in the game. Are you sure about this? Yeah, this is really the hardest. But it does look like a, a hard thing to do, especially if Harry doesn't know how to ledge grab. Well, uh, yeah. Crap. Um, basically, I want to have a little bit of control before ha Harry uh, starts moving uh, down, uh, dropping down again. I will try this one more time, and after that, unfortunately, I'm going to do it uh, the intended way. So, uh, oh God. Uh, now we're going to do this the intended way, unfortunately. Feels bad, man. It feels really bad. Like this is basically a run killer. Like it's uh, so it, it can be so annoying from time to time, and yeah, I'm speechless about it. From sometimes, like it takes like 20 seconds longer to take this route actually. So here I move backwards a little bit because that way Harry is in the backwards animation and it speeds up this uh, cutscene with the gargoyle which is always useful. So here there's a potion ingredient but um, yeah, we're not going to grab it, like we don't, uh, like they forgot to put an invisible wall here basically. <laughs> that jump looked really <laughs> scary to me, so I'm really grabbing this save book because... Man, oh man, oh man. Six. Perfectly timed to grab it here. And get up here, so we basically skip three seconds of the platform going back to the other side. So uh, that's why I was counting to be there on the right moment. Um, okay, now I I jumped a little bit too early and that means that I'm, I'm way too late for that. Skip that save book and save either way. Hi Bloody Baron, bye Bloody Baron. Like the Bloody Baron it's supposed to be uh, difficult or something like that. Uh, and I tried to do a super jump, but unfortunately it didn't work. And we got the last ingredient and we go back to Snape. Here, Snape, here you have 11 challenge stars. Oh, we are late. The free price from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars. But I'm afraid they have no value in my Ah, uh, he doesn't like I've ended the, the lesson challenge stars. You, but we've collected them the other all are run the long. Feast. But uh, at least we got Halloween, fun. which is uh, going to be fun. Because uh, I guess Harry wants to eat something at this point. Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! Oh boy, the there the is a troll. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight and away. And it has... Uh, Hermione is stuck in the bathroom at this point. So we need to hurry up to the bathroom to stop the troll there. But is the troll there already? And one is doing some weird movement as you guys could see. Uh, like he just likes to walk into uh, walls. That's because I moved that fast that Harry, one doesn't know what to do anymore. Smell? I don't smell anything. Oh. Wait, the troll got Hermione cornered in the bathroom, but the troll's here. Okay, uh, welcome to this auto scroller of uh, the troll following, following us. Uh, basically, it's follow the beans, and it's um, a blue bean means uh, you don't need to, uh, to do anything at this point. Uh, green means. Uh, 
focus, you need to jump soon, and the pink beam means jump. And I didn't know that until uh, someone mentioned that to me, like, I was just like, follow the beans, and uh, I see whenever I need to jump, but uh, it actually makes any sense uh, which uh, color of bee you're collecting at that point. So, um, we're done with uh, the troll chasing us. And we are in the bathroom. Hmm. Wait. The troll is in the bathroom. Wasn't Hermione there? Oh, hi, Hermione! The troll is enormous! And did you know that the troll is enormous? So, um, I think Hermione has a special relation with this troll because if you look really correctly at Hermione it looks like she's giving him the items to throw at us thanks Hermione yeah Hermione uh, like one is slow and Hermione's helping the troll like it's not helping at this point. So uh, basically, I, I I keep my mouse at Hermione just because I'm angry with her. Now uh, basically the item is there, and then I can actually smash the item already before he throws it. But at this point, he's going way too fast for us to. Uh, to hit the item so we just keep our mouse a little bit up here and we just let go as soon as he throws it and it's just really important that one doesn't get hit because uh, if one gets hit the club is going back to a certain position and that can uh, lose you like 10 5 seconds every time that you get hit is he dead i think he's just been knocked out <clears throat> Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. No teachers showing around or something Exhausted like that. The so, um, this cutscene. The there was also kind of Discuss a cutscene like this after Fipendo. And now we are seeing this cutscene again. And the most interesting part of this is. This is actually a fake Harry. Like, the real Harry is at this point already on his boom. Like, if you would cheat in here and get control of Harry, you are Harry on a boomstick. And we have our greatest commentary already. Lee Jordan, who can't speak uh, correct sentences. And we are following the snitch again. Come on. Yeah, thank you. So, that was Quidditch again. Long match, difficult. I guess we won. Yeah, we won. Thanks, Lee Jordan. Great job, Lee Jordan. You've done your best. So, and now we are getting uh, a really long cutscene about, uh, like, we get a little bit of story, actually, in this part. Like, there's not much story going on in this game. Like, the whole Philosopher's Stone hasn't been named once in this game. But now there's a little bit of story because... Uh, at least if you've read, read the books, uh, you know that Norbert has to leave Hagrid and uh, we are going to deliver him to once for the Charlie into the highest tower. Uh, so that's a little bit story from the books that's coming back into this game. And in my opinion, it's the first part of uh, story that you get in this whole game. Like. The only thing you're doing is classes and a little bit of Quidditch. 
Oh yeah, and you With visit Hagrid. So this is uh, the sneaking section, uh, the which is always interesting, because we are trying to manip uh, fields to walk around as we want. Unfortunately, he can hear a little bit better on 60 FPS compared to 106 FPS. So I need to be a little bit more careful at one point. But most of the times we can just be really close to fields. Like at one moment we will be really close to fields and he just won't see us. So as you can hear, uh, every spell is uh, is whispered at this point, which is uh, something cool. Like basically all the spells are uh, are whispered. And now we walk here to uh, let Filch hear us, and then we can just walk around him like like it's nothing. And for the next room, I'm going to collect the safe book. Because you can never be s too safe. Because um, Filch is to the right of me. And he's walking now, now to this room. I get up there? And hi Filch, bye Filch. Like basically, he doesn't see you for some reason. And if you're fast enough... He can't grab you at all. Uh, I, 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 I love Fields, personally. Like, I, I love this section so much. Like, it's, it's night, it's whispering, it's sneaking around, it's Fields screaming at everything that he hears at this point. And he hears something again and it was us, but he didn't know. Like, he could just stay in front of that door and we couldn't continue. But no, Filch is like, um, let's just move around again. So, this is uh, a little bit of being fast. Like, normally, Filch should be uh, in front of this opening. But because we are that fast, he just gets stuck around the bookcase. And, uh, yeah, that way we don't have to wait for fields, which is always nice. <coughs> so, basically, uh, we're now done with, uh, with fields for now. Like, we won't see fields for a little bit, because he, do he doesn't see this for some reason. Like, you would almost think that fields is a little bit blind. Maybe he needs some glasses, I don't know. But yeah, uh, we are boosting here up because uh, there's a gargoyle here. And uh, that gargoyle actually reveals the platform to reach to the end of this little section. Like, normally you should climb up here and uh, hit a Lumos and a switch. And uh, wow, I got that first try. At least I get something first try today. Um, but basically, uh, you need to hit a switch, you need to hit, hit some Lumos statues, you need to do some weird uh, jumping, and there's a weird ledge grab over there, but uh, yeah, we, we, we just skip it. Um, okay, this... This is... Thieves. Interesting. That could come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. Um, I triggered a cutscene that I wasn't supposed to uh, trigger, and actually, Filch is below, is behind there at this moment. So, um, the Filch that's over there it isn't that scary. Like, I can even show you how scary he is. Because I can just walk to him and he doesn't do anything. Great game design. So now I'm walking backwards uh, to uh, end this part of the level. And there's coming a second sneaking part. But in that part, Filch is not alone. 
He's with Mrs. Norris. To collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. And we've had actually um, almost every spell whispered at this point, except one spell. And that spell is used on plants. But it also works on Mrs. Norris. Don't ask me why, but you can cast Incendio on Mrs. Norris there. Like, it's, it's, it's not useful for something, but uh, they just I wanted a Whispered sure Incendio and they put Mrs. the trigger of it on Mrs. Back. Norris for some reason. I don't know why. But it's it's cool to show off. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little. So we nice. can't get past Fields now. Hmm. Let's see. If I do just this and this and hey, we're past Fields. Intruder. I'm surprised that he didn't hear me. Or did it see me? Well, I have the invisibility cloak. Um, I'm grabbing this save book just out of safety. Because otherwise we need to do everything of this level again. So, uh, Filch is here now. And... I'm... I'm so happy that I grabbed that save book. I just knew it, uh, because I was walking weird backwards. But basically, um, we are going to get on that s bookcase. And I think uh, if you've played this game casually, you, you think that's not possible at this point. Uh, I've tried it, it didn't work, so why are you even trying? Well, actually, I'm trying to boost off... Uh, I, I'm getting a little bit of the boost of the candle, which puts me high enough to let's grab that bouquet. So, if you've tried it when you were young and uh, you see me doing it now and think like, wow, you could just do that. No, it's not that easy. Like, my angle's kind of precise, my position is kind of precise. And that's the only way to uh, grab the, the bouquet. And in that way, you skip... Uh, a cutscene of Nick showing you the way and just jumping around other bookcases with Mrs. Noring chasing you, basically. Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. <coughs> Harry stared hungrily back as they were hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly. So um, here we see uh, Professor Dumbledore, and we are students out of bed of at this at this so moment, but. Uh, Dumbledore just thinks explore, like, uh, yeah, you shouldn't be here. Filch is looking for you. You know what? I'm going to explain about this mirror, and then I just hearts, let you go. But that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erisir He's the bad headmaster that Hogwarts ever had. At least according to Harry Potter. If Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. Hmm. But prepared for what? Yeah, I wonder what we will be prepared for. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've so, uh, at this point, when I was a kid, I was... The library for a bit I've here. spent so many hours on just getting past the previous section with Mrs. Norris on the bookcase, and it's... Uh, it, it was... It, it was hard for me as a young little child when I still was cute. And at this moment, the cutscene is like, uh, yeah, Mrs. Norris, you stay in the library and I will go on. And I was thinking like, we, we won't face Mrs. Norris anymore. I'm so happy. I can, I, I, I can finally finish this. And um, yeah, then this happens. Hi, Mrs. Norris. You should be in the library, not here. So, in this room, we will have a little bit of cat RNG. Like, Mrs. Norris uh, likes to walk around, of course, but she also likes to stop. 
and when she likes to stop is completely random and she can actually block the way for you at some point so yeah so this way uh, we are just doing again Wingardium like we almost forgot about that, sp that spell like I, I guess they didn't know what to do with Wingardium exactly like it's in the Wingardium challenge and on some certain other points but they don't use it that much and I guess they were just like um, yeah what are we going to do uh, so let's just put them here in the end I don't see a Mrs. Norris so we got uh, good cat RNG which I'm always happy about so now I need to hit this far side okay that like if I was able to hit a trigger it would run two cutscenes at the same time and you can't be too far in the middle because at that point Mrs. Norris will catch you and you need to do everything again so that's why I was basically hugging the wall and if I would have hit the trigger then uh, then she wouldn't have grabbed me so um, this is a trick with a pot you just hit the panda on it and um, Mrs. Norris is going to check it out and we can just walk past her and here are Fred and George what are they doing this late well actually they want you to sell the uh, the last uh, no, not the last but they want to sell you again a wizard cards but yeah you can just walk here and um, you can just say bye Fred and George and we can just finish the level So, um, now we get story. And I, Ron and Harry, hey, finally the Philosopher's Stone. Stone. Like, we haven't heard a word about it. And at the end they're like, oh yeah, it might be the Philosopher's Stone, which is uh, behind that dog that we heard, unfortunately, because I couldn't skip that cutscene. It was the Philosopher's <coughs> Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by... So, um, we are now going, uh, to see the, the bees that growled at us, and it has some RNG, lately. because it has three hats. One hat, no uh, is putting around. to sleep pretty slow. Uh, one of the hats is kind of middle, and nice one is nice. pretty fast, Let's but... Go. We don't like it's random which hat is which is which hat. So we just have to hope on uh, a little what bit of good him? RNG. He's always watching the forbidden corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. So um, I wonder what what they would have done if Filch would have been here. Like <laughs> one is really like, like we have tonight. to take our chances. Uh, what would they do? Would they uh, dress like Dumbledore to? Walk past fields. Maybe it helps. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> so um, this corridor looks uh, not clean. I hope uh, this venue is going to look more clean than this. Uh, this way, Harry. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> and I'm walking backwards here again because that speed ups the cutscene and. If you hear and from. look really precisely, you can still oh, hear yeah. the cutscene running. I don't think we should go in there. Well, we are already well, in control of soon. Harry at this point. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Yeah, right behind you. Like, I get eaten and you're right behind me. That's useful. Oh, it's a free-headed dog. No. This one's the Good thing that we got the flute from Hagrid. That That's not it. That's it. Do be careful. Okay. Need to check. Ow. Ow.
So, uh, we didn't cut the best RNG. I just tried to avoid being bitten because, uh... I like to have a little bit of health. And when all three heads are sleeping, um, yeah. You are basically done. Like, they can wake up um, if one of them is still awake, but if they are all sleeping, then, then just like, uh... It's okay. like, it's okay, we're done. Thing. And Look this is up. pretty interesting. What would they have done if one jumped down and Come there was, on, wasn't was any response? Would they think one is dead and just leave? So, um, next up we got uh, fighting with some plants. But uh, what was the name again? Um, I know name. what this is. It's a devil's snare. What was the name again? Next time I'm gonna pay more attention in herbology. It's snare? Help! It's a devil's oh, snare! Oh, it's a devil's snare. Thanks for Try saying it twice, Hermione. Like, I don't know what... Like... It's really weird that... Uh, that they, they make it... Make it say her twice. It's... It's like you forgot it in 10 seconds. And these lines are interesting because they all end with Harry. Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> like, just to make sure, what's your name again? Like, I, lo I love this game so much. It's so weird from, from time to time uh, that I can still laugh about it. Uh, Like, one time I was in uh, the Vipendo uh, challenge and the sound of this game can be kind of weird. And uh, for some reason it decided to speed up uh, the sound of this game. Come well, on, thank you. And it was really sounding like it was just Russian oh, Harry Potter Harry. music. I I, I laughed really at that moment. Like it's, it was so weird and so funny. <coughs> so uh, next up we got chess, uh, and I'm going to try to skip skip a cutscene. And as it seems like I'm not going to make estimate, unfortunately, like. There were so many things that was unfortunately. So I'm going to try this only three times. And after that, I'm just going to show you guys the cutscene that I wanted to skip. But I got it first try, so um, we are out of bounds right now. And um, yeah, like there's here a cutscene of. Uh, one being hurt but we just skipped it entirely and I'm so happy that I got that first try like when I'm on a good run I never get it like I can spend there a minute and I I just don't get it and even at PSG I've had some troubles with it but but now we just got it immediately and that saves still like 20 seconds maybe even more at this point because if you would look at every try that you would have skipped, would have taken otherwise. So um, but basically, you take there a little bit of a high hyper jump and you move Harry a little bit to the right to face a s in a certain angle, and that way you can clip into the pillar. On, and go. there are invisible walls there where you can walk on. So um, yeah. So now there's one more challenge, and uh, everybody who loves Assassin's Creed, yeah, this is Harry Potter Auditore da Firenze. Like right and uh, basically, at this point, it's like um, the floor is lava. But um, there's uh, a wall walk which basically makes us skip that whole challenge which takes like five minutes i don't know i haven't done that in a 
pretty long time, so... And um, here we fight Snape. But that doesn't look like Snape. Oh, Quill's going to help us, of course. That's what's going to happen. Snape is already behind. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. Hmm. He doesn't stop. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuck oh in the Oh boy, Quill. Quill is the bad guy. Who would have thought that? Uh, can I please hit, the, hit this block? Like. Normally you're supposed... Did he just miss the block? How? Like, normally you're supposed to bring two blocks pretty close to Quill. Uh, why did I miss that? Thank you. So, the last boost of the game. Ah, uh, he's not too happy about us. Rip Aston Regia. But um, we are basically done. We don't need that save book. Trust me, this fight is always the same. Like, if you just copy my exact movement, you will have the same fight every time. Wow. He has the so now I'm holding forward just to uh, skip a little bit of that cutscene. I don't know how it exactly works. Maybe Harry moves a little bit forward. I don't no exactly so um we're trying to run away from Voldemort or he who must not be named but I just named him <clears throat> it's really serious for this guy So we first move to the right behind this pillar because Voldemort is also moving to the right first. Then I stay here on the stairs, wait for him to move so he will stand in front of the mirror and he will hit himself. Then we're moving back behind this pillar because that's the next pillar he will move to. And uh, we put it on his head and again we stay on the stairs waiting for him to move. And again we're moving behind... Uh, the mirror and now we're going to the second phase where we can't use the pillars anymore and he's using a spell to uh, follow up th that will follow us but uh, with the exact movement I can just place him back in front of the uh, of the mirror and I feel kind of bad for Voldemort so I will uh, I will give him some uh, damage on me Ooh. like uh, he has no faith in himself ready on time time <clears throat> so uh, that was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone I hope you guys liked it uh, unfortunately not everything went right and um, I guess uh, we need to go to our next uh, run at the moment uh, and uh, my host can tell me what which run that Dumbledore will be. Between yourself and Professor uh, that it's will be a Space Mega Force so Normal Mode by the one, the only Dark Cuckoo. And uh, the unfortunately guys, I will give